Hey guys, it's Linsor. I have my own hair out, or like my hair with extensions. But that has nothing to do with today's video. I've come up with a really fun idea because I stumbled across it on Instagram. So on my explore page, there's been popping up so many step-by-step -step on how to draw. They looked very fun and I'm now in this video gonna try and draw just that. Step-by-step. <laughs> -step. I urge you guys who also wanna get better to try this with me. It was actually pretty hard, <laughs> not gonna lie. You guys know I've been on this journey to get better at drawing, which is a great time to play Blog Skillshare, but I've been trying to get better. Trying. That's what we're doing today! So of course, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So basically for you guys who don't know what Skillshare is yet, they have a really good text and I'm just gonna read it to you because it like summarizes them so well. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take their next step in their creative journey with thousands of inspiring classes. I feel like I'm like in school right now trying to keep eye contact while reading with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. They also have classes on editing and animation and drawing, and specifically drawing in Procreate, which I like to focus on. So each time I show you Skillshare, I show you a different creator. This is mine this time. Jerome Vogel, and his class is called Digital Illustration, Learn to Use Procreate. I was shocked how much new things I learned from this. I've never really bothered to learn like the basics of Procreate and all the different tools and how to exactly use them. Just to see what his basic settings is and how he uses like um, shortcuts and short commands was very useful to see. I can use Procreate just fine, but the way I used it before I watched this was just way more time consuming. I didn't even know how to use Alpha Lock, and this is gonna make it so much easier for me to do things in Procreate. His class has been by far the best one I've seen so far, and I really recommend this one. So since it's curated specifically for learning, there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes, which you can get for less than $10 if you choose the annual subscription. So the first thousand of you guys that uses my link in the description will get a free trial of a premium membership of Skillshare. And since Skillshare keeps coming back to me, I feel like you guys love this, so I'm so happy. I seem to have a bunch of intellectuals following me that want to learn, and I'm scared. <laughs> what will you think of me? A very non-intellectual. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The world has just stopped, so I guess it could be nice to try and do something, be a little productive with life. So if you guys have used my code and used Skillshare, tell me in the comments below and share your experience and what you like. Ah, look at me in my artsy outfit. <laughs> Let's draw. <laughs> I feel like I'm very far away from the camera. I don't know if you can even hear me. Let's snuggle the f up. So out of the posts that I picked, I think this one seems like the easiest one or maybe the one that we should start with because it's a little bit more simple and we're gonna gradually get to the worst of the picks, to the epic boss. I tried a tutorial yesterday on how to draw anime and I drew a figure the day before. After I watched the tutorial, this is how the head looked. I know it's not very pretty because this is the first time I ever followed a tutorial for an anime. Obviously it needs work, but the proportions are much better. So let's hope that I can maybe draw other stuff better too now create a new project. I'm just gonna do a screen size because I have no idea what I'm doing. We have step one, two, three, and four. So let's start with step one, which is a circle. Procreate can like do the circle for you. So this is perfect. After circle, we're supposed to do two lines like this. Oh my God, that is so shaky. It's not even even. Okay, we're happy like this. Step number three, outside nostril. There and there. Last step is to erase the circle and just keep that little thing down there. And we have a nose. I feel like we maybe went a little underboard with this one. I think it's time to move on to the next one. I actually found a pretty cute picture of a lotus flower and we will hopefully be able to draw lotus flowers after this. We have a circle. <laughs> okay, no. Okay, we have a circle. And then a little lower down, we have a line and then another line and then a big circle. So now we have the base. Now we're gonna start drawing the petals. First off, there's three petals. So there's one big fat one in the middle. Their sketch doesn't look like my sketch. And there's another big petal, but like skinnier, a skinny petal to the side like that. We have a skinny petal, no. We have a skinny petal, yeah. Now we're on to part two. 
it seems like it has to do with those dotted lines we did so we're gonna follow the leaf and then follow upwards to the dots and i overcross the line then we're at step number three we are creating an additional two petals they did do a line here and step number four is just to do even more underneath nice so the last step and step number five to just add some shading remove this back piece my lines are very shaky i am aware okay look at all this shading it actually looks kind of cute i'm not gonna lie because i feel like the effort was minimal like we barely did anything i've never drawn a lotus flower before magical we get the deal. So next up, I really wanted to try to dry some anime eyes. And you guys know I love my anime. And let's see if we try to recreate this, that it's gonna turn out good, or is it gonna look childish? Step one, sketch the general shape of the eyes. Like, that's the whole thing. Oh my god. Okay, let's see how this goes. They like missed the first 20 steps. <laughs> this is gonna look so stupid. Like her eye already looks good before she even started. Okay, I could spend like an hour to make this look decent. Let's just try and follow the steps now. <laughs> so we're picking a purple and we're just gonna do like this. Okay, we have the purple filled in. I already feel like this is gonna be bad. Let's move on to step three. <laughs> We're gonna fill in with a darker purple, and this time it's gonna be a little bit more gradient. They are shaded. Let's fill in the pupil with a really dark purple. Looking amazing. <laughs> oh my God, why does it look so good on the picture? How can this be? So the next step seems to be like shading the eyeball and using some black to just shade the picture. We're going around the outer rim of the pupil. This is looking beyond awful. We're now also gonna do some white. So we seriously have just one part and then we're supposed to be done with the eye and that's the sparkles. I'll sparkle the sh out of this eye. <laughs> oh my God, this is like the worst I've done in a while. Like this made it worse than when I draw eyes. Well, I feel like I'm back at square one and I can't draw anymore. Let's compare them. Like what I was supposed to get out and what I got. <sighs> Anyways, that was a cute uh, thing to do, I guess. Oh, this is proving to be harder than I thought. I think lips are pretty hard to draw, so hopefully we'll learn something from this. Okay, I'm gonna be here. <laughs> so the first thing they've done is just smudged a lip color. It's a little peachy red, a little orange. It's a little mix. It's a little corner there, and they have a little cupid line. It ends here and then continues. Let's fill it in with this color. They're also using some red colors, and it looks like they smudged it afterwards. Okay, it's already not looking like the picture. Oops. I'm guessing all of you guys who study this stuff and like have done this a lot are just like, what are you doing? But it's fine, it's fine. We're all at different levels. Now step number two seems to be a little bit more of a definition step. Let's not just have a smudge of colors. I love how I'm like narrating this, like I know what I'm actually doing. <laughs> Use this brush, even though it's gonna look like a disaster afterwards. Hee <laughs> hee. <gasps> Let's just go to step three. Here comes some really dark colors. I am scared. We have some down here by the mouth. We have a little lip shading under here. Okay, let's do the dark line. <laughs> okay, I mean, it's not turning out just as good as the picture, but I mean. <laughs> and now we're on step four and I'm supposed to make them look awesome. Okay, uh, and now we're doing gloss. Okay, I like doing highlights. That's always been my favorite thing to do. So maybe I can kind of save it. Okay, I'm really into this now. Let's try and add some white. Nice. <laughs> this little part down here by the lip is looking really good. Okay, I spent like an hour on this picture, so let's just say it's done. Okay, like I'm proud. So we have drawn a nose, a lotus flower, anime eyes, and also lips. So let's move on and I wanna do a nose, but this time we're gonna go to a more advanced one. This looks like an actual nose study. So we're gonna try and see if we can make a nose that looks this nice. We've been through the exact same thing before where they just have a sketch and like, just go from there. Like, yeah, I 
wanted to learn how to sketch first. So this is more of a coloring thing. So let's see if I can make a decent sketch. It's so annoying when you can see the problem, but you just can't fix it because you're just not skilled enough. I kind of changed the colors. I added some shade. So let's see how this is going to look when I start blending. I feel like I'm supposed to be able to blend and then just remove this filter. And it's going to look like a nose underneath, which I am so... I don't feel like that's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm now gonna add the highlights. So we've come to the fourth step and I'm gonna remove the nose layer. Here we go. It definitely doesn't look like the picture. Okay, we have the nostrils. I am confused. I don't really know what I'm doing. We're going on to the next step. <laughs> I'm, this is looking so weird. Mm, the white is too strong. Cool whip, yeah. I'm just gonna try and save this and add some like lines to just make something worthwhile out of this. I give up. This is my final result. Okay, so we're doing one last and final post. And my pride is on the line here because we're going to draw an eye. <gasps> now I have a thing for drawing eyes. That's like what I draw when I'm bored. So I need to do this good, but it's also gonna be nice to like kind of learn how to draw an eye properly. This time there's gonna be around six steps. So there's kind of a lot. So I'm just gonna let them like roll by right now. And we're gonna try to follow them as we've done with all the pictures. Do you think I can do it? I'm honestly unsure after that nose. So step number one, sketch out an almond eye with eyeliner. Okay, step number two, draw lashes, eyeball and crease. So we're doing a round eye. Step number three is base color. So now we're getting into the nitty gritty and the difficult things for me, because I guess I'm just not that good at color. Let's do a blue eye and just to be safe, we'll just use the same color as they have done. They blended a lot. So I'm gonna do the same. They also added some kind of shine to the eye. So we're gonna do the same. So as you can see on the description, we're not supposed to use pure black or pure white. We have used pure black, but let's change that. Uh, we can change it, yeah. It says water calling for redefining an airbrush to blend and soften the edges. We're grabbing a brown and a medium airbrush and we're gonna add this here. We're gonna add some shading here to darken up the eye a bit. The next step is to add highlight. I like to add them slightly above the pupil, it can vary based on direction of light. I'm gonna completely remove our sketch layer here. I feel like the eye isn't really done. It's not as smooth as theirs. Okay, I fixed it up. It's looking a little bit better now. Okay, we have some lashes. The next step is to smudge out some of the lashes on the ends to make them softer. So like this. Uh. Now we're supposed to paint in some more highlights on inner corners and waterline. Okay guys, I don't know why I stopped recording. I'm guessing I got mad because I didn't like the way the drawing turned out, but I was basically finished anyways. And here's the final result of that eye. But I know that I got even madder and started drawing another eye. And that's the other eye. I tried to redeem myself, which I really didn't. I really do feel like it's easier to draw on paper. I'm just not, I'm not just saying that. I am not just saying that. There's just something about that hand to surface feeling. You can hear the pen bleed on the paper. <laughs> but with that being said, I hope someone had a fun time doing this with me. If anyone did, please tell me. And I hope you guys enjoy Skillshare if any of you guys try it. And I hope it's helpful and fruitful for anyone at all of you guys. This was degrading. <laughs> no, but I'm going to work hard to become better. I promise. Isn't this what you do when you lie? You're in my hearts and in my mind and you're beautiful and talented. We can do it all! <laughs> Bye!